Coming to you from the International Headquarters, Scotty DTV, but I was out at Steve Holcomb Pro Auto Custom Interiors just as they were finishing up this very cool 1967 Chevy 2 Nova SS I think y'all are going to like. Let me get the camera turned around. We'll take a quick look at it. Wow, what is that? A 67, Steve? 1967 Chevy 2. I am such a fan of these. They call I call them shoebox Novas. Yeah. I, don't know. Yeah, I guess they try fives get that same shoebox name too, <laughs> right. but when, I just absolutely think these things make the coolest hot rides. It is. A, they're, they're iconic cars, just like the Tri-5s are. I mean, everybody loves them. They're really super cool, especially the way that, you know, they modernize them now and, you know, right. street machine and all that stuff. Late model motors. Actually, that car was built um, off of a uh, ZL1 Camaro. It's got the ZL1. Is it ZL1? Yeah, ZL1, yeah, ZL1 Camaro. Yeah. With the, it's got the motors, uh, seats, uh, drivetrain, everything out of the ZL1. It's even imprinted underneath the hood, ZL1, so yeah. it's pretty cool. And it's got the insert, the ZL1 insert, and it doesn't look like somebody just chopped a hole and stuck it in there. I mean, that thing is fit and finish is really nice on oh, that. Oh, like it was made for it. That's right, just like yeah. it was made for it. What would you all do to the interior? Well, the car belongs to Harry Pickett out of Florida, and he brought it up to us. Actually, he picked out the material about probably about two and a half, three years ago. Oh, wow. And uh, we went with the Magnolia uh, Finesse. Uh, cream color looking, you know, yeah. it looks really nice. And then I decided, he went with a, um, another, it's called a Putty Trex, is the, the insert part, you know, the darker part that matches the paint. Yeah. And then... Uh, I decided to go with black thread on this one uh, just because it's got the carbon fiber up on the dash and the carbon fiber hood. So nothing toward the back was black or any carbon fiber or anything like that. So we put the black stitch where it just runs through now the whole car. You got a little right. bit of a black, just enough to accent it. And you can see that there's a reason for the black to be there. Right. So it looked pretty cool. Looking. Yeah, no, I liked how you incorporated it. And it, this is one of those uh, refreshing type of interior when you look at it, the colors <laughs> yeah. you know it's like it looks like it's cool and I mean by temperature cool and you could sit it and relax and it'd be a comfortable drive wherever you wanted to go oh yeah and if you notice it had a roll bar that was close to everything so I mean it made it a little tough to get in there behind all that stuff and you put that in a... with the roll bar in yeah yeah Holy the roll bar is welded into the car so oh, we man. that was that was fun. Yeah, I bet. Putting everything in around the roll how bar. Do you, how do you do that? How do you get a headliner in between the roof of the car and the headliner and the roll bar and get it smooth and all? Well, we fuss and a yeah. little bit and <laughs> complain and all that, but no, he left the windows out and we just we uh, slid it up through the back window. And, I mean, really pulled on it and got it got it pulled up in there. And then once it was in there, so you can't do it hardly without the windows. You out. cannot do a a headliner like that with the windows in it and a roll bar. Right. You, there's just no way doing right. it so you have to leave one or the other out you know where you can have a little bit of room to pull it and stretch it up there so it, oh, right. it worked out pretty good yeah, he yeah. brought us the windows and everything so we had them put in when um when we got the headliner finished up had a company come out and put them in for us oh, i tried to get some good up. shots of all the gaps around all those that roll bar i mean it's everything is just so tight in that car from oh, front yeah. to back yeah and then it was a little tricky making uh of course, a 3D door panel with a roll bar sticking that close so that right. you can put LED lights and things like that in there. But I love we managed it. It's, you know, it, we, we like a challenge sometimes. Right. But yeah, <laughs> you know like how they're it. all challenges <laughs> lately. They're all a challenge, but yeah, I mean, you know, it's it's one of them that, you know, can't never could do anything. So if it needs done, we're going to figure out a way to get it done to where it looks good and, you know, and looks professionally done, not just hacked up or whatever. So I, li I like everything to be neat, no matter how hard. The challenge is to do it and to get it that way. We're going to make sure that it is that way. Right on. What about the trunk? The trunk we brought, the, uh, he's got a super sport emblem on the side, so we incorporated that into the trunk with that um, chrome, you know, uh, polished aluminum uh, trim around it. And we, we made that and designed that a little bit, and it's got the accent lighting on it to shine it up. So at nighttime, it really looks good, you know. And then we always put the, now we put the, um, LED light in that's adjustable so you, you can adjust it all the way up or if you want to drive it at night with the LED light just glowing sort of like a newer car does we do that so it's uh, it's better than just an on off switch um, of course you know when we first did it they didn't, I don't even think they even had a dimmer you know but right. now that they've got them we use them right yeah, no, exactly. The Yukon, same thing. I got dimmers on that. Because sometimes you want to read a map or right. read a map. You want to read <laughs> something, you know what I'm saying? And sometimes you just want a mood light when you're rolling down the road that just kind of gives the car a nice glow. Yeah. You know? Yeah, and then, of course, the trunk has got doors on both sides. One side's a, uh, well, I actually use both sides for storage, but one side on the passenger side has got your on-off switch there where you just 
flop down the door, turn, cut your power off, and you know, go from there. Easy accessible. Right on. It's hard to, you know, if it's behind a panel somewhere, it, it needs to be accessible to where you can get it and turn it on and off. You don't want to be taking That's the your whole car point apart. Of it. Yeah. yeah, right. Is that you're supposed to be able to access it right. easy and turn it on and off. No, I think it turned out. I think that you know these are some. Uh, colors that don't jump out at you so you have to really work hard to make all that work together mm. to where it will pull you in yeah you know and we talked about not very many cars have headrest in them but with the zl1 theme and all that looks good because we know those are camaro seats right and um no i think they fit in this car yeah i think he did a good job on it he did a it, it, the whole theme looks good it's a seemed like it's a pretty nice car you know yeah. probably be good to fun drive and I think you know so. Uh, sounds good, so yeah, I think he's he's going to I think he's going to do good on that. He got a good stance, good wheels, tires. Um, and I think it's worth mentioning that it's not you know they'll take it back and they'll detail it out oh, and yeah. get everything all as it is. Um, this was probably the last stop getting the interior put in, and now everything's done, so they can finish shaking it down and do all that they need. It to will do. be it'll be displayed at the um, Shades of the Past car oh, show okay. this year. So great, that's, great. they're wanting to get it ready for that. Uh, I'm pretty sure they got plenty enough time to get it done. They got another month and a half, so I think they'll. Rumor is that's the last shades. Yeah, that's going to be the last shades of the past. Um, uh, sort of, a little disheartening. I mean, you know, I've been a part of that since '99. You know, doing them giveaway cars and stuff. So, it's a, uh, it's it'll, it'll be different. Right. You know, and you never know. Something else may pop up out of it. But at this moment, yeah, as far as I know, that's going to be the last shades of the past. So. Wow, isn't that something? You never thought that'd go away. No, you know, and, and it, it wasn't nothing of the, of the of Bobby's or anybody. You know, they wanted to keep it going. It's, you know, it was a Dollywood issue, so, sure. you know, one yeah. of them things. And there's just not anywhere else that you can – there's not a bit – the Shades of Pass is so huge now, there's right. nowhere else to even do it. But, the, you know, and they barely had enough room in Dollywood. Well, and the Rod Run, Pigeon Forge Rod Run's at the LeCon Center, the yeah. other place you could do it, but it's the next weekend, so you can't have two shows right. in a row like that. It'd be hard to get one show out and one show right. in and, you know, it'd be running all over each other. So if people want to get in touch with you or follow, because that's a big question I get. How do I get in touch with this guy? How do I follow this guy? What's the best way to do that? Pro Auto. Oh, well, we're on Facebook. Um, of course, Scotty D TV with the coolest cars on the web. You know, you can follow us that way. Um, or you can just Google our Steve Holcomb, uh, Pro Auto Custom Interiors, and you can see all kind of images and things come up. But okay. uh, the best way is check us out is check out Scotty D TV. You are the man. Bro. There you go. Thank you so much. <laughs> no problem. So there you go from Steve Holcomb Pro Auto Custom Interiors, a very cool 1967 Chevrolet 2 Nova SS. Hope you all enjoyed it. See ya! Hey y'all, make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.